Okay, YouTubers, next project is a 31 Chevy 3100 short bed, 1957. Yep, step side. Just got this in today into the garage, and we've actually been cleaning up uh, all the dirt and stuff that was in the bed. I got a little bit of panel work here to do. Uh, most of the panels look all right. A little bit beaten up, I mean, for something from the 50s. You can see the bed is completely gone. Some of the rotten wood that's left in the slats. Uh, back here is a little dark. Uh, this does work. This is the Chevrolet that says across there. It's in pretty rush safe, so I might have to source a new one, but we'll see. And there's this side. And again, no holes. You got a little bit of a divot there to get out. The doors are very loose from their hinges right now, uh, but they are in actually pretty good shape. Uh, somebody bit back the access panel there to get to the uh, hinge at one point. Got a broken glass there. Where's that light? Sorry. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, as I drop the light, uh, the floorboards, as you can see, the squirrels have lived in here, but the floorboards do not look bad from that perspective, the step-ups. Uh, still got a little bit of the original cloth to go in there. Uh, the major welding I do is I see some floorboard holes up front here. You can see some of these holes coming through, uh, which means that probably goes back uh, a ways. Uh, this is a uh, three on the tree, which I was just explaining uh, to my son, so he shipped it from there. Um, everything looks really good on the dash. There is up here in the roof on the inside some rust holes that are starting, uh, but I think I can treat those. Uh, dashboard is gone. See what we got here. Oh, you guys can see in there. We got temps, we got amps, we're gonna have oil, and we're gonna have gas. Uh, really hard to tell with the light. I'm trying to get it in there, but it is 38,584.5. Uh, I'm sure that's probably rolled over more than once. Uh, second door is about the same. Uh, most of it is all original. I've got a bunch of extra parts when the, the guy I bought this from, he bought two of them. He bought a 56 and a 57 at the same time off a guy. Um, and he wasn't interested in the 57. He was doing the 56 in his garage. Uh, and he was doing like a resto mod. He was putting the 56 body on a um, S10 frame and blah, blah, blah. So I've got a whole bunch of extra parts in here. Some of them that came off this truck. But all the panels were here except for the passenger side front. Uh, so I will have to source a new one of those. Uh, the engine is actually looking really good uh, for its age and from what I can tell. Um, haven't torn into it yet. We got a glass bowl carb, uh, distributor caps missing. Um, everything looks all right there. We got our air cleaner, and generator. Let's see if I can set this down in here. Just a little bit of light. Uh, it is free. Uh, 
So I can turn the engine um, and I can see the flywheel turn back here. Uh, so we'll have to look at that. Uh, let's see. Front bumper I've got, I just put two of the bumpers and the old tailpipes up here in storage. Uh, the front grill is not too bad. There are a couple dings, so we're going to try to save that. Um, and these are really, really expensive. They refer to these as uh, catfish cars because they kind of have that catfish mouth and the eyes with the lures over them. But that is going to be the project. Oh. For the next year or two. This is the original 57. It's got the bumps, arrows in it. Uh, I just have to finish putting together the cafe eraser here, which my son and I are going to get the engine. You can see the tank there. So, get the engine in this, get this finished up. I'm not really going to touch. Uh, whoo, I'm not going to touch the truck until I finish the cafe racer. Uh, you can see more parts I got out here ready to go on the cafe bike. Uh, but I've been wanting a, a short bed Chevy for a long time. Uh, I got this for $22.50. Um, <clears throat> I paid an extra hundred dollars to the guy and he delivered it the 30 minutes uh, to my driveway and then we pushed it up into the garage. Um, so that's where we're at. We've got a little bit of work to do. But this is going to be a really, really fun project. I'm really excited uh, to work on this one. This will be the first full car restoration, truck restoration um, that I've done. Uh, and the frame and everything is just immaculate underneath. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to really take the cab and everything off the frame, but I might. We'll, we'll all see. So, just want to give everybody a heads up for what's coming. Thanks for watching.